Okay, king snake number two. Yeah, this snake here, uh, it was a female. Looks like she's freshly shed. I'd have to assume that by now she's definitely a uh, later clutch of eggs for the year. It looks like she's recovered really nicely. Uh, beautiful animal. Uh, it's interesting, this snake, uh, not not a lot of kings, but every once in a while one gets like really, really bitey when you first capture it, pick it up and all that. It's nothing serious, of course. It's like scratches. This snake was like this, but now she's went ahead, she's calmed down, and she's kind of balled up a little bit there. Yeah, you can see how nice and clean she is. Just beautiful snake. But at any rate, uh, he loves seeing good, nice, healthy snakes like this in the wild. Uh, it really is the, uh, not the exceptions, the rule, the uh, the strong survive. And a lot of people have the misconceived notion that wild animals are struggling. But the fact is, most of the snakes that I see are actually very healthy. It's, uh, it's rare when I see an animal that's actually struggling. Because I would say that animal doesn't last very long. Yeah, just a nice snake here. Alrighty, yeah, I guess, uh, again, like the other snake, it was under a, a piece of artificial cover and a, a small clearing up on a ridge top. Uh, the kind of habitat you'd really expect to see maybe a milk snake at, but uh, so far at this location, I've only seen king snakes, rattlesnakes, and racers. Uh, I say only, but because that actually is really good as far as I'm concerned. Um, some of my favorite species to see. But yeah, you can see it's a little bit brushy. Uh, good sized trees, but there's uh, there's canopy that's open, allowing the sun penetration to come down. And of course, the snakes, uh, as needed, utilize the artificial cover to thermoregulate. All right, well, I guess I will let this snake go and move on. And maybe see her again next time. All right.